okay guys welcome to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that a 2.5 megagram vein is traveling with a speed of 100 km per hour when the brakes are applied and all four wheels lock if the speed decreases to 40 km per hour in 5 seconds determine the coefficient of kinetic friction between the tires and the road so if the car is moving with some initial velocity v1 which is 100 km per hour and when the brakes are applied the the friction is going to act in the <clears throat> towards the left if it is going towards the left so the friction force is going to uh, to act towards the right right so this is the friction force okay guys i welcome you all to engineers academy do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that 2.5 megagram vein is traveling with a speed of 100 km per hour so it is moving towards left initially with a speed of 100 km per hour it is said that when the brakes are applied and all four wheels lock if the speed decreases to 40 km per hour in 5 seconds so after 5 seconds the velocity v2 is 40 km per hour so we are required to determine the coefficient of kinetic friction between the tires and the road so if the car is going towards the left the friction force is going to act towards the right and that will be the kinetic friction which is always equal to mu k times n and the weight of the car is going to act downward so this is the weight of the car which is uh, mass times g and the normal force is going to act the resultant normal force is going to act in the upward direction so first of all we are given that the mass is the mass is 2.5 megagram so mega means 10 raised to the power 6 uh, grams and we can split this 10 raised to the power 6 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 10 raised to the power 3 so 10 raised to the power 3 is kilo right so we can say that this is 2.5 into 10 raised to the power 3 kilogram and 2.5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3 is 2500 so this is 2500 kgs now the mass is 2500 kgs the initial velocity is the initial velocity is 100 kilometer per hour we have to convert it into meter per second so 1 kilometer is 1000 meter and 1 hour is 3600 seconds so this will cancel out and kilometer will cancel out and we will be left with meter per second so 100 100 multiply by 1000 divided by 3600 this gives us 27.778 27.778 meter per second similarly after 5 seconds the velocity v2 is 40 kilometer per hour so we have to convert this as well so v2 is 40 kilometer per hour again the same procedure 1 kilometer is 1000 meter and 1 hour is 3600 seconds so this gives me so just we have to it did this and we have to write that this is 40 now so 40 into 1000 divided by 3600 this gives us 11.11 11.111 meter per second now to find the coefficient of kinetic friction we have to apply the summation of forces summation of forces along the vertical direction let's say the summation of forces along y direction is equal to zero and that is in this is our positive direction in the vertical direction so as we can see that this n is acting in the positive direction that is plus n minus weight this is equal to zero or we can say that n is equal to weight which is mass 2500 times g and this will be in newtons
So this is 2500 into 9.81 newtons. Similarly, if we apply the principle of linear momentum in the horizontal direction and if this is our positive direction, so we can say that the initial momentum of the car in the horizontal direction plus the impulse due to the external forces equals to the final momentum in the horizontal direction. So the mass is 2500, this is 2500, uh, let me read this, this is the external force is only uh, this mu k, so we can write that this is uh, mu k times n, so this is mu k, this is mu k times n dt and mu k and n both are constant, so we can write them outside of integration, so this will be mu k times n and then dt. Now we have to put these values, so mass is 2500 and the velocity is positive in this direction, so that is 100, 100 km per hour which is 27.778 plus and as we can see that uh, this friction force is in the negative direction, so we have to write minus sign with this, this is negative, right? So we will write minus mu k times n and n is this, this is 2500 into 9.81 and the integration of this will give us only t and we have to integrate this from 0 to 5 seconds, so we have to put the limits from 0 to 5 and this is the mass is again 2500 into V2, V2 is 11.111, this is multiplied by 11.111 meter per second. So if we put these values in T, so that will be 5 minus 0, so that is 5 minus 0 which will give us 5 and now if we divide this whole equation by 2500, so this will cancel out, this will cancel out and we will be left with this equation. This will be our equation and now we can write this, if I bring this to the other side of equation, so that will be 27.778 minus 11.111 and if we bring this to the other side of equation, so that will become plus mu k into 5 into 9.81. And if you want to find mu k, we have to divide both sides of equation by 5 into 9.81. So, we will be left with the mu k value. So, mu k is 27.778 minus 11.111 divided by 5 multiplied by 9.81 and this gives us 0 0.339 or we can say that mu k the coefficient of kinetic friction between the tires and the road is equal to 0 0.34. This is 0.339, so we can approximate it, so we can say that this is 0 0.34. So this is the solution of this particular problem, I hope it will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning and also subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet.